One of the big problems with DSLR astrophotography is that you cannot control the temperature. That's why people use cooled cameras. To get a clean, noiseless image, we use dark frames. But that can be ineffective in DSLRs because when you take the dark frames, most likely the temperature is different to when you took the lights. Noise patterns are temperature dependent. To make uh, dark frames worthwhile, you have to make sure darks and lights have a similar temperature. But that is so hard to do with DSLRs. This is where this program comes handy. Let me introduce you to Dark Master. What this program does is it helps you match dark frames with light frames in terms of temperature. So for example, if your light frame is 28 degrees, this software out of all the dark frames chooses 28 degrees uh, to go with the light frame, then creates a deep sky stacker file that you can easily stack with. I hope I'm not talking gibberish, but let me show you how this works. First, make sure that you've downloaded the Dark Master. I will put the link below uh, so that you can download it. Uh, let's open it up now. As you can see, there are four columns here, lights, darks, uh, flats, and biases. We'll just be using lights and darks today. So um, let's go to the directory and load up our lights first. Uh, you want to point this to your light uh, files, light frames in that folder uh, where your light frames are click select folder and then click load now this should take a few minutes uh, a few seconds um, and you can see if you look at this temperature uh, column you can see there are various kinds of temperatures in the same session uh, so now we want this software to match the dark files with the light files. So let's go to the dark files and uh, likewise load it in the folder. Uh, we'll press load. Uh, and again, dark files also have different temperature. Now let's uh, um, make sure that temperature range tolerance is right. I think one, one to two should be fine, but let's do go with one and uh, we're going to press go there you go now it has grouped all different files with different darks like you know there are five, uh, five light frames that are between minus six to minus five degrees and there are two dark frames available uh, that can be used and basically it groups each uh, light frame with a corresponding dark frame uh, once you've got the groups you can uh, uh, click create DSS uh, file let's go to desktop and save it okay now let's go to deep sky stacker um, open file list there you go open file list and we're gonna just import this here you can see there are groups uh, 13 groups with the uh, uh, light frames and dark frames in its corresponding categories so what will this what this will do is that uh, it will match the light frames with the dark frames that means that the noise uh, level will be will be matched to the temperature which would make um, your image much 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 more uh, noiseless well, I hope you found this video to be helpful. If so, please subscribe.